everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have two sneak peeks from Diamond Art Club that's being released today. Saturday, what is today? <laughs> the 23rd? Is that right? Yeah, today is April 23rd and these are being released today. Uh, if you are a Ruby or Diamond Club member of the website, then you will have access to this at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is in just a few hours. And if you are not, then it will be 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. So I'm really excited to share these with you. These have already been released on their social media, um, but I don't think that anyone else has opened them yet. So I'm going to start. They are both square drill diamond paintings. I'm going to start with the one that's a little different from my normal um, go-to style uh, because I think that's, you know, it could be easy to get in stuck into a rut when it comes to pictures, especially for me, because I have a style. I like, I don't know, but I want to be able to share with everybody different styles, right? So I'm trying to branch out a little bit and, uh, and, and do new things. So here is our first one. This one is called Evening Song by Carla Gerard. So this is a like I said, square drill diamond painting. It is a 56 by 74 centimeter painting. So it is large, but it's not huge. Uh, and it's super cute. I think that this is a, a really cozy painting. And this is the kind of painting that I think a lot of people would see on their wall. So we've got a toolkit and the sticker in there. That's the box emptied. So if you see here, this is kind of like something you could put on the side of the box. Look at the little sheep. So cute. All right. We've got a toolkit. In here um, is everything that you need to start diamond painting. I'm only going to open this one. I won't open the next one. <gasps> wow. Because um, they're going to be the same but different colors and things like that. So I have a bag of baggies. We have, okay, we have tweezers. These are, you know, included in the toolkit for square shaped drills. We have a pen. This one's orange, which is really cute. We have a magnet. This actually came off of this cover minder. Now, this double sided adhesive is not very good. I will say that. Um, I would recommend that if it if the magnets come off like that, um, if you have like a strong glue, just put that on the bottom and then that will will work just fine. It is beautiful though. I really like that. They've also given us washi tape for the sides. They've given us two plates of heart-shaped wax inside a container, which is really cute. We've got the pen squishy or the pen grip, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. If you don't have um, a custom pen, these will work just fine too, but I find that my hands cramp these days and then we have the paint diamond painting tray, two multi-placer tips, and then the little stopper. I really, really like these trays. I think they're super cute uh, and they're very sturdy. So uh, that is the toolkit. Let me just pop that away. Alrighty, so let's have a look inside the bag. Get that out of the way. Inside the roll we have the diamonds. Wow, those are pretty. Ooh, I see an AB color I've never seen before. That's really cool. So these are mostly what browns and greens. So if this is your color palette, I think you're going to really enjoy working on this. We'll look more in detail at those in just a minute. We have a thank you. This has a coupon code and tips and tricks and things like that in it to help you if this is your first time in painting. And this is the kind of inventory slash uh, legend, this walking legend. These are stickers, so you can place these on your organization. If you if you have an organizer, if you haven't uh, thought about getting an organizer for your diamonds, I highly recommend it just because working from those bags is exhausting. So anyway, we have 47 colors here and we have four of those. The first four are Aurora Borealis. So they have this iridescent coating and I'll show you that in just a moment, but here's the picture and it's so cute. I love the crows. It's very cozy, very pretty. 
I like it a lot. It's super cute. And this is the canvas. Canvas is a very soft velvet backing. And I've already got Luna fur on it. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and roll it this way. It's got, it's poured glue, which I, I admit, like, I love this glue. This company has the nicest glue, in my opinion, just because it's nice and soft and squishy. Um, and I enjoy that feeling when I diamond paint. <gasps> oh, so cute. This is going to be so fun to do, y'all. This is like... So this is a very color blocking kind of piece. It's very little confetti. There are areas of different color, but I think that this would go by really, really fast. If you were looking for a fun and easy project with a you know satisfying finish, of course. But look at those houses, aren't they adorable? So cute. And I love, I love the little lamb. I think that's a lamb. I'm gonna say that's a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. So let me show you what the symbols look like. So you can see them. Super clear. I'm sorry for shaking you there. But yeah, vibrant colors. We've got a little bit of a rainbow happening on the kit. And super cute. I'm, I'm in love with this image. I think it's really adorable. It reminds me of the town that I live in, minus the trees, of course. <laughs> there are no trees here. All right, let's have a look at the colors. If you'd like to skip ahead, that's perfectly fine. I'll show you where those AB Aurora Borealis drills go. Let's get you in so that you can properly see the colors. 3810, 951, 3799, 644, 434. We have two bags. 938, there's also two bags. No, three bags, sorry. Then we have our first AB. This is the Aurora Borealis I was talking about. See how shiny and shimmery it is? It's so pretty. So that, I'm guessing, is going to go in the leaves of the trees. 3856, 300. Oh, here's another AD. This is 131, an orange coated one. Very cute. Love it. 3848, 165, 3782, 451, 3860, 832, and 834. That's it for the first one. Here is the second one. We've got 318, two bags, 3371, two bags, 435, 433, we've got two of those as well, 166, and then we have this new one that I haven't seen before, 109, this is like a top, top, mauve, not quite tan, not quite gray, somewhere in the middle, but it is very pretty, that's really cool, in 947. Very vibrant colors here. Lots of really beautiful greens, like 907. Then we have 310. We have four bags of 310 and 740. Then one more strip here. We've got 3809, 732, 720, 402, 833, 841, 3847, 647, 917, 718. They look the same in this light for some reason, but they're not. They're just a, a shade different. 917 is a shade lighter than 718. 783, 606, 3817, 141, which is a white AB. 3808, 645. 817 and 437. All right, let's see where those 80s go. So the first one is number one, and that is the kind of mauvey gray color. I can see it here in this house, on this side of the house here. Number one. I think that's pretty much it. I might be missing it somewhere else. It could be in a window. Oh, yep, yeah, there's some in this window here. 
and that's it. That's it for number one that I can see. I do my best, but <laughs> I can't always catch them all. Number two is the orange, and twos are in the sun, in the center of the sun there. We've got some in the stripes of that house, the roof, in some of these windows, uh, the outline of these windows here, like that, inside these windows here as well, and around that window. Very cool, so it's kind of got all the bright light areas. Number three is the green. Let's see, we've got some in this window. Three, 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 three. Oh, yeah, they're <laughs> all in the leaves. Like, every leaf has A, B in it. That's going to look stunning. <laughs> it might be even a little bit blinding, not going to lie. <laughs> and then number four is 141, which is the white, and that is underneath the windows. It is around some of these windows. I can see the dots here under those. Number one, number one, number one in this little light here in front of the house and around this and around that window and the outside. Very cool. Ooh, number one, the gray, the gray mauve is actually lines on this house. I didn't see that before, but yeah, it makes little stripe, stripey lines on that house. That's going to look so cute. Aww. I love the patterns in this. I think it's really satisfying. So I think it would be really fun to diamond paint as well. What do you think? Is this your style? Is this something that you might find enjoyable? This could make a good gift as well, I think. Maybe to someone who is just starting to diamond paint. Although the size sometimes puts people off. But the thing is, is that it doesn't expire. It doesn't go bad. So, you know, it'll be there. If you want to put it down for a few months, you can always do that too. There's no shame in that game. I'm going to put this away and I'm going to get out the second kit. Alrighty, let's get into the second one. Do you have any plans this weekend? Doing anything? I'm trying to get my crafty bug up. I might even start that, that or a little kit. I don't know. You let me know. What are you going to be doing? So, this kit, right? <laughs> when they showed me this image, I was like, this is so me. And this is so a lot of you too. This is Spirit of the Lake by Roberto Nito. Nato? It is gorgeous. It's a deer in a forest in front of these gorgeous mountains. It is also a square drill and it's 56 by 79. So just a little bit larger than the last one. Now this one looks like it'll be a lot of fun to do as well because it has both confetti and color blocking in it. So you kind of get a mix of both. You could open up, you know, two. Oop. Okay, that's it. You could open up two ends of the canvas and if you get sick of one, you can work on the other. Now this one also comes with the little sticker. You can put it on the side of the box if you want and a toolkit. So this toolkit is the old toolkit, but it still has lots of great stuff in it. Same contents except for the cover minder and the washi tape. There's no cover minder and washi tape in mine. Uh, I don't know if there will be a new toolkit in yours, um, but you know, it's got everything that you need to get started. And if you're looking for cover minders, um, there's a lot of really great shops that actually sell them separately. So definitely go check them out if you're looking. Just search for Diamond Painting Cover Minder um, if it's something that you would like. All right. Let's get the stuff out. Ooh. So this one is more my color palette. It's got the dark blues and the black and some greens and purples. <laughs> Here is the information sheet. So it has 27 colors which is not surprising to me because this is a very like graduated, gr gradiated, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> There's just a few colors here that I can see and it's very dark at the bottom. So if you're not a fan of the 823s, um, you might not, I don't know if you'll like this. It's got a lot of black, I can tell. So this is the instruction booklet. 
This is their, their older one. Still has all the stuff that you need in it if you're new. And if you want more instruction, I have some videos, but I'm planning on revamping my um, instruction, like how-to videos soon. So stay tuned if you're a new diamond painter and you're looking for tips and tricks and stuff like that. I plan on making a new series very soon this summer. So let's see. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. So as you can see, this end is very confetti heavy. There's a lot of color changing in the squares. There's only like single placing or double placing. You're not placing a lot at the one time right here where it's like the forest floor and the leaves, but up there, that is all color blocking. Look, that's all the one color. This mountain is a solid color. So is this one. You've got the sky. It actually looks really good. I'm surprised by the rendering because sometimes it can look so pixelated, but this kind of it, it seems like it's staying true to the original art, and I can't wait to see this finished. Look at the little sailboat. So pretty. And we've got the deer here in the middle. There are four ABs in this, which is very interesting. I did not expect that. Uh, so let's, let me show you what the, the canvas looks like real quick. We have a mix of alphanumeric and symbols. These are not unfamiliar symbols with Diamond Art Club, so I think it'll be very easy to complete this diamond painting. And with 27 colors, it'll be very easy to kit up as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you are looking for a um, a little hint from me. I highly recommend doing the areas of color blocking, like the solid black or uh, the mountains and things. I do recommend doing that first and saving the middle bit for last, because for me, that's how I reward myself um, with diamond painting just to have something to, to look forward to. So we've got 803, one, two, three, four, five bags of this beautiful navy. 519, we have three bags of light blue. 3845 is one of my favorite blues, very pretty. Then we have 939, which is three bags. 3756, there's two. Very light, very, very light blue. 322, 310, we have three bags here. 823, there's two. So that's not too bad. I thought it would be a lot more, but it's not. All right, and so now we have three bags of 211. Pretty lavender. Three bags of 712. We have a bag of 3841 and a bag of 996. Now, <laughs> be very careful with this DMC number. If you accidentally turn the bag upside down, it looks like 966. So when you're kidding up, just remember that this is 996. This happened to me. <laughs> it's happened to me and a few others. 819, 562. 3325. 312, I have two bags. Ooh, 913. That's a very pretty green. 127. Here's one, our first AD. Very pretty pale pink. Almost like a peachy color. 948. 128. Ooh, a nice blush pink. Gorgeous. Then we have 135, which is green. 334, 3809, 991, 3846, 141, the white, white AB, and 762. So let's see where those colors go here on our canvas. Uh, we've got number one, which is the, is number one the peachy pink? I think it was. Yeah, and then there's a baby pink. So 
peachy pink. We're going up to the mountains. This one here, it's all along where the sun is hitting the top of the mountain here, here, and here. Two is the uh, more baby pink, and that's just below that brightness. So this area in the middle here of that mountain. Number three is green. And of course, you can actually probably see it from there. The, the brightest green colors at the tips of those trees are all AB. Very pretty. And then four is white and four is just the deer uh, and some of the area around the deer. Not the sailboat, but the deer. The deer is the focus of this piece. So very, very pretty. <laughs> I like this a lot. I think this would look amazing. And as someone who loves fantasy, um, this is giving me Princess Mononoke like a hundred percent. Um, but you might see another fandom in there as well, and I think it's gorgeous. I think that this artist did a wonderful job capturing the uh, essence of the feeling in this picture, and then Diamond Art Club was great at hand charting this piece into a diamond painting. I cannot wait to see it finished. So please make sure that you tag me if you do either of these or any of the kits that I share and unbox here on the channel. Please tag me over on Instagram at Rachel Ray Craft so that I can see your finished pieces of work. I love looking at your finishes. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me in the future, and I hope that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend ahead. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.